Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk about the uh, Master 175 series four digit combination lock. Uh, if you uh, have run into these locks before, you may or may not know that you can use a paper clip to uh, open the lock without knowing the combination. The problem is if you have uh, received some of these locks, uh, for instance at a garage sale or from an estate, uh, you may want to reset the combination. If you pick the lock, uh, you can't reset the combination unless it is set to the unlocked position. To be able to do that, you need to be able to decode the lock. And there are several methods to do that. You can use a feeler gauge to feel the appropriate position of the flats that are rotated by the keyed wheels. Uh, and then you have to turn them uh, back in the appropriate direction to make them line up with the pawl to release the pawl so that you can open the shackle. The other method is uh, the lock internals are held in by either one or two pins. Uh, almost all 175s will have this pin. Some will have this pin as well. What I do, uh, they're usually recessed a little bit. I spray them with uh, a penetrating spray or a catalyzing penetrating spray like uh, PB Blaster. And then I will uh, go into the recesses with a knife or a tool and I'll make sure to scrape around and clean around the top of the pins so that they're free to move. And then what you can do is uh, you can use a plastic hammer, mallet, uh, brass hammer, anything you have that's non-marring. Uh, and if you tap here like that, fairly hard, you don't have to do it maybe several hundred times, this pin will start to back out. As for this pin, uh, you can try hammering on it. I've had fairly bad luck. What I have done, though, is after you make sure that uh, you've cleaned around the top of that pin, you can hit the lock against something uh, non-marring that's plastic, and it will start to drive that pin loose. Once you have those pins loosened up, you can come in with uh, pliers as long as you can grab the pin. And it may be a little difficult to do, but you can start to pull that pin out, like so. And do the same with the other pin. Uh, the pin that goes through here is longer because it goes all the way through the lock and it holds the shackle mechanism in. This pin is shorter because it's just pinning the internal mechanism to the outer mechanism. Once you have both of those pins out, you should be able to either get the mechanism to fall out or um, you can either set it in a vise or hold it in your hand and uh, just hit the top of the shackle and that should after several tries begin to drive that mechanism out. Now you may have to get in here with a, a tool, a blade of some kind and work that mechanism loose. There we go. Once you can see that edge, that rolled edge, you're almost home free. So once you have the mechanism out, uh, you need to be careful. There, It is spring loaded. So once you get the shackle out, you'll see the pawls with the spring and the bar in the middle. Set that to the side. And then you'll need to remove this end off and that may take a little bit of work in itself. I like to get in there with my blade and just kind of work it open just a little bit. Once you've done that, you need to be careful. There is a spring-loaded pin here, so you want to make sure you keep that spring. You don't want it flying off. And then you'll have to go look for it, and that's a a lot of work in and of itself. So once you get that cap off, you can see the wheels. This lock I have already set for 0, 0, 0, 0. And as you can see, let's see here. There we go. It will release the pulse. Once you have that done, they sell a... Uh, a key to put into your lock. Really all you need is uh, something that will fit in there, a small screwdriver 
or uh, a cut off zip tie or any number of things. Once you have that depressed, it pushes the shaft through and it releases the uh, keys from the wheels. And then you can change the combination to whatever you want. The default combination for these locks is all zero. Uh, that's a good combination to leave it on until you deploy the lock. Uh, once you have uh, reset everything, then you can kind of push that back together. You'll need to put your spring in place and then make sure you put the slot end of this brass cup over the keyed end of the lock. Make sure that you've captured that spring. See, it likes to pop out. Oh, come on here. There we go. Make sure you get that spring in there. And push it below the level of that plastic cup. You can put your lock back together. Make sure that your combination wheels are showing appropriately. This one is not going back together as planned. Let's see here. Sometimes you have to kind of wiggle things around to get it to fit right. This one is just a little off somewhere. Sorry about that. Oh, there we go. Once you get it to pop back together, you can take your paws and they can go in either way. I like to put them with the grooves down. You need to make sure that both of them are sitting all the way down, that the spring and the pin are in place in between. And then what you can do is make sure you know where that pin side is at and our other pin is going through there. So we're gonna put it together like so. Now what you need to be careful of is you need to do this carefully and slowly enough that you don't disturb the pawls. If the pawls come up, you can't get the innards of the lock all the way up into the body. Once you have the uh, innards of the lock all together, just a second here. You should be able to put that in. The lock is locked. Let's see if we can get it unlocked while we're here. There we go. Now as you'll see, I was able to pull the shackle out no problem because we don't yet have everything pinned in place. So what I'll do is Insert that, hold the bottom of the lock to keep the uh, internals in place, and then we will put the pin back into the lock. Once the pin is in place, you can no longer remove the shackle. You can drive the other pin back into place, and then the lock will not come apart. If you want to permanently fix this so that somebody can't just walk up and start hammering on your lock then you could put some epoxy on this pin and this pin uh, carefully so that you don't epoxy the internal mechanism together uh, but then you've limited yourself from being able to do this in the future uh, so hopefully you uh, you know your combination so if I change the combination I should be able to close lock the lock Reset it for all zeros, lock unlocks, we're all good there. So that's a quick way, uh, or at least a quick demonstration, of the method that you would use to get into the lock by driving the pins out, and then you can manually read the combination off and uh, reset it to whatever you want it to be. If you have any questions, comments, uh, put them down below. Uh, I hope that you found this video informative, and uh, I also hope that you have a great day. Thanks for watching.